What is up, admission members? Welcome to another Tactics with Taylor. And today I'm responding to a common question that's been asked out of the community that I think we can help put to bed in a way that will anchor your attention into go out and exercise against the immediate opportunity in front of you. And that question is, I just don't know where I should be spending my first dollars, okay? And this is a question that usually comes out of one of the things that is true about our industry, which is that you are hearing stories from all sorts of different ways in which brands are having success. You heard a, about Dr. Squatch killing it on YouTube, and you heard about TikTok shops, and then you heard about a brand, Mini Katana's doing it with organic on this channel, and then someone's doing TV, and it was amazing. And it all feels overwhelming in the beginning. And what I want to help you with to start out and I'm going to speak to, which is often how I think about speaking in my content, to the vast majority of brands and how they should behave in the early days of running their business. And I'm going to help you by bringing some context from a couple different data sources here, and then some advice from brands that have been on the path to the places that we're trying to go. So the contention I'm going to make in this video is that when you start out and right now in the early days of your business, and I'm talking sub really for sure sub 5 million, definitely probably sub 10 million. And then when you get above and beyond that, you can begin to think about channel expansion. But for now, the idea is that you should be focusing in one channel. That to drive growth in the early days of your business, everything is an opportunity cost with your dollars, your resources, and your time. They're all scarce. And you need to aim them in a singular direction. And the answer for where you should do that thing, where you should do that is very, very clear for the vast majority of you. And that's on Meta. Now, I know that many of you have probably tried Meta in various capacities, but what I want to encourage you with is the solution to your problems in your ad account aren't to go try another platform where you're back starting at zero. I want you to think about each channel like a musical instrument, okay? The only way to get better at it is repetition. And just switching from the violin to the piano doesn't make the problem any easier. It just creates the restart factor where you're now going to have to figure out all new creative formats, all new sort of in, uh, technology and tools, all sorts of different measurements. And what I would encourage you with is to understand that the vast majority of brands on e-com spend the vast majority of their dollars on Meta. And so to validate this, I'm going to use uh, this email, which I get regularly from North Beam, which is a attribution platform. And I have similar data in Veros, which is another great tool for benchmarking if you want, which is budget share, percentage of media dollars being spent by e-commerce brands on the various platforms. And I want you to use this as a way to anchor in your reality that no matter how much you hear about another channel, 70% of the dollars in our industry are being spent on Meta. The vast majority, it is by far and away the most powerful ad platform in the world. Uh, it's really not close in terms of secondary. The second is Google at 23%. And this is primarily branded search. And then for retail brands and brands that have large SKU catalogs, Google can become the priority channel because there's so many different SKUs that they can capture demand on. And Google is the only potential other platform that I would suggest is maybe making it into the early mix especially if you're in a category where there is a lot of existing demand and you are an entrant into an established category. And so you want to grab your portion, or if, especially if you're in a trending product category. Uh, if you're selling colostrum supplements right now, then we may want to talk about ensuring that we are capturing a trending keyword volume. But for everybody else, the starting point should be meta. And when you hear about these other channels, TikTok, YouTube, Bing, Pinterest, Snapchat, et cetera, et cetera, I want you to understand that they represent a tiny, tiny fraction of the amount of dollars that are being spent. So when you hear brands talk about it, you should think about it as they are, you are hearing disproportionate noise to the volume of spend that exists in those channels. Hey folks, thanks for listening to this preview episode. To hear the episode in full, check out admission at youradmission.co. That's Y-O-U-R-A-D-M-I-S-S-I-O-N dot C-O.